Hey everybody, it is Monday night and I have not really had time to get down here in the fish room and get anything done. I would like to shoot an around the world update and we're going to kind of sort of do that with this video, but what I really want to do is go around the room and talk about what I would like to get done in some of my tanks before I shoot my next around the world update. Um, I do pretty much a what you see is what you get kind of channel. I don't go around making sure my tanks look all beautiful and pristine before I shoot video of them because that's just not what they look like on a regular basis. You normally see what I see when I'm down here. But, you know, sometimes the tanks are so dirty they really do need to be cleaned up so you can actually see what's inside the tank. Um, you know, when I shoot the video, there's so much stuff growing on the glass and everything. So I got a few of those, and then I got a few that are sort of oddball other, you know, things we can talk about when we look at them. But tonight we're actually not going to talk about what's going on in the tank, but we're going to talk about what I want to do in the tank before I shoot my actual round the world update, although I'm not sure what we're going to call this video. Anyway, my 29 miscellaneous here, we're going to start. Um, just did a water change the other day. You can see the water's nice and clear. I got the glass wiped down. Everything's looking good. Needs a top off or could use another water change that would never hurt it. But once again, we are back to the water flowing through the middle section, which happens within a couple of days. I mean, I honestly, most of the time I just leave it like that because it doesn't seem to matter how often I do it. It takes two days and it's clogged up again. So where that is actually coming from is the bio sponges, not the mechanical filters. The mechanical filters just got changed a few days ago. There's no way they're that clogged again. But the growth in the bio sponges is just really, really fast. And we wind up getting a bunch of crud in there and it just clogs up. I can clean it out and we'll give it two or three days and it'll be backed up again because of the, the rate of growth uh, I get in that. I don't know why. So anyway, 29 miscellaneous. I've been seeing out of the corner of my eye my Angelicus loach has been chasing one of my skunk loaches around the tank all over the place. So that's been kind of interesting to watch. It's been distracting me while I was trying to talk. So this tank, you can see, I just finished a ChemiClean treatment. Uh, for my regular viewers, you'll know that I just did that. And you can see how nice and brown everything is rather than how red everything is. There's a little bit of tinge of red in the wood right there. But for the most part, it's killed uh, a lot of that cyanobacteria off. So now I need to get in there and get the glass wiped down, get the filter changed, and just kind of tidy the tank up a little bit and get that looking a little bit neater. My former T-Bar tank, I really kind of need to think of a new name for this and maybe get some new fish in it. Don't really need to do that before the next uh, Round the World update, but that is something that needs to get done in this tank now that the T-Bar is no longer in here. Um, I can't really call it my T-Bar tank anymore. So doing a water change on this one and getting the glass wiped down a little bit uh, wouldn't hurt. There's my gigantic big fat cat Bootsy. He weighs about 20 pounds now. Um, so again, nothing really going on in this tank. Don't really need to do anything in here. Uh, 40 breeder, I definitely need to get in here and wipe the glass down a little bit. My Molly right there, she's getting really old and her swim bladder doesn't work right anymore. So most of the time she lays on the bottom. Uh, but she only comes out and swims around when she thinks food's going to come in the tank. So I always feel guilty when I stand in front of the tank. Uh, I'm making her swim around for no reason because I'm not getting ready to feed her right now. So this tank needs a water change and it needs the glass wipe down uh, just before I shoot the next video. But in the larger sense, I really need to get in this tank and do some work on uh, a little bit of gardening in there and get some of the plants thinned out and cleaned up and just make a little bit more room for some fish to swim around in there. This tank is so crowded with plants now. Uh, it's getting ridiculous. You can barely even see the wood and the rocks and all that stuff. This tank's got a lot of scaping in it. You just can't see it anymore because it's all buried in the bushes there. So this tank really is one that I definitely need to tackle. Um, well, you can see I, I really need to get in there and do a lot of cleaning on the algae. My Chinese algae eater died at the same time I opened the top up and put six floodlights shining straight down with for all intents and purposes we can call that natural sunlight and I kind of expected a lot more algae to grow in this tank I did recently put some 
medication in this tank that made everything turn green and I know you might be thinking well things are stained and all that that's got nothing to do with this medication uh, I'm sure of it it's the glass is green right now so that really needs to get wiped down I mean when you get close you can really see how filthy that glass itself is and then when you look in the tank you can see everything in the tank is actually covered in green and it's got the hair algae growing on it and it's got the green cyanobacteria growing on it that algae eater in there was really really doing his job I know a lot of people say they don't um, do as much once they get older um, but they still do a lot they still they still do a lot as far as keeping the algae in check so this tank is gonna have to get a chemiclean treatment just to fight back all that cyanobacteria and I'm gonna have to find some more uh, algae eating fish. I'm reluctant to think about getting another uh, Chinese algae eater. I said that was a fish I'd never get again, but I do need some sort of off walks scraping fish. I've got a uh, Pleco in there, but it's just not cutting the mustard. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tank But I definitely want to get it cleaned up uh, before we shoot more video about it and I want to shoot a video specifically talking about this tank um, and putting activated carbon in the filter because I don't normally use activated carbon and because of the medication I put in this tank I have been using it uh, in this tank and as far as I can tell it's doing what I put it in there to do and the reason we're looking at this is because look how low that water flow is it's normally you can see where it's dark green all up here normally that water is coming out so forcefully it sort of wraps around this rock and splashes all over this stuff so that's a pretty good indicator that the canister filter is already uh, getting clogged up my regular viewers may remember when I did the water change on this before I did the medication um, I did change the filter and I said it was the grossest nastiest filter I've ever changed in all the years I've been keeping fish. I don't know how long the last time. Oh look we got another dead shiner too. So that's another one of those shiners. That's what you get when you purchase fish from a bait and tackle shop. Uh, when I put the shiners in there originally years ago and we are now down to these two large ones. Those are the two that went in from the original batch. Um, I put 18 of them in and I think 12 of them died within the first two months of being in there. Probably six of them died within the first two days. So I recently put half a dozen of them in there, and we've now lost. That'll be the third one uh, that I've lost that I'm aware of. Um, I don't know. I'll have to get in there and try to count and figure out exactly how many more are in there. Anyway, this tank's got a lot of work to do. Uh, get it cleaned up and then I want to shoot some video we're going to talk about using carbon in the filter and why we use carbon and don't use carbon uh, and so on and so forth and McGudgeon tank it probably could use a little bit of a cleaning but since there's never anything really to talk about with this tank there's probably not going to be any reason to worry about doing that and lastly uh, the last tank I need to do anything to get around my waterfall here for a minute is my 125 and it is getting a chemi-clean treatment at the moment, which is why you can see my um, big air stone in there. Anytime you see that bar with air in one of my tanks, you can assume it's undergoing probably a chemi-clean treatment. I do that. Um, you know, it honestly only gets done once or twice a year per tank. Even my more problematic tanks only get it maybe twice a year. I just have so many tanks that at any given time, it just seems like I've always got this chemi-clean treatment going somewhere in some tank, and I don't really. It's just a couple times a year I do that, and I honestly don't even remember the last time uh, if I've ever done one in this tank. I'm sure I have at some point, but I don't remember the last time I did uh, a chemi-clean treatment in this tank. But you can see all that grunge on the glass was all sort of green and you know looked like a cross between algae and cyanobacteria just a green nasty grungy growth was growing on everything and you can already see how it is turned brown and died off and let's see what the leaves look like here i did have a bunch of that green grungy stuff growing uh, on the leaves and well we could probably still use another dose of it we've just run um the 48 hour dose you put your dose in you run it for 48 hours with the air stone and then you're done or if it still you know needs a little more cleaning um, I find that you don't even need to do a water change you can just add another dose on top of what you've already got in there uh, and everything will be fine so that's probably what I'm gonna do tonight I was thinking about getting in there and wiping the glass down and doing the water change but after looking at those leaves I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put another dose in there the stuff's cheap enough 
Um, you know, and the airstone's already in there. It, it's no big deal to just throw another dose in and forget about it. The ChemiClean stuff, as long as you've got an airstone in there, the ChemiClean is uh, safe to use in your aquarium. Doesn't hurt anything. Doesn't hurt your cycle or your fish or anything. It just kills all that grunge. It's amazing stuff. It works really, really well. Probably wouldn't hurt to get in here and do a water change. Um, this is a tank that it seems like depending on the time of day, uh, I either have a whole bunch of biofilm on the surface or I have none. And I keep wanting to shoot a video and sort of talk about the biofilm as it grows on the surface here. But every time I come in and think about it, it doesn't actually seem to have any. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, and then we can talk about my quarantine tank here for a minute. I had a bad ick outbreak in here from some of the fish I put in it. And they all died. And so... I stopped the ick treatment, I took those fish out, and then I did a big water change, and I put new fish in, and I never really picked up the ick treatment again, and if you can see that little Odo on the back wall there, look how covered in ick it is. So I didn't wait long enough before I introduced new fish, because none of the fish I introduced uh, were showing any signs of ick, and now you can see... Uh, the Odos are pretty much covered with ick. If you're wondering what that brown stuff is, uh, it was recommended to me to get some, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I want to say capata leaves, capita leaves, something like that. And so I've got them. They're supposed to supply tannins to the water and have an antibacterial effect and so on and so forth. And just from a quarantine tank, I thought it wouldn't hurt to throw some of them in there. So I am now treating this again. Um, for ick I've lost two of the odos that I've put in there I put five back in and I've lost two of them now to the reemergence of ick uh, and then I have three of the um, platinum guppies and then PetSmart has a new blue swordtail guppy which is like an iridescent blue with the swordtail and so I've got three of them. They're really, really pretty. So I'm not sure where they're going to go, but they are staying here in quarantine. And uh, as far as treating for ick, I'm using the ick attack, which is what I've used for years. I swear by this stuff. It works really well. Uh, I've never had a problem with it. Uh, the only reason I had issues now is because I didn't follow through. I stopped the treatment when the fish died, and I didn't wait long enough for... Uh, the ick to die off or I didn't continue the treatment for the full uh, two weeks plus the temperature in this tank is a lot lower than what it's recommended so you know it's, it was not the ick attack itself that had anything to do with that that was the way I handled it and the way I treated it so we're retreating it for ick and everybody's gonna stay in quarantine in the meantime so there you go that's gonna be the end of my little sort of around the world let's get the lights turned back on for everybody over here in the waterfall tank and it's actually now getting late enough in the day that I can even turn my final light on. And so we need to get in there and do a little bit of work too. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss my actual Around the World update once I get down here uh, and get a bunch of the stuff going. Um, I just, I got a lot of stuff going on otherwise, and I'm having issues with my truck right now and trying to get caught up on work, and it's the holiday week, and it's been busy uh, et cetera, et cetera. So bear with me. We'll get it all taken care of and then we'll get around the world and we will see all of the fish and all their nice clean glory. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and don't forget this one here is my waterfall tank. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.